This is a Luna pet bot. Not only does she support many different interactions, but she also plays many wonderful games, and she can even connect to ChatGPT for more in-depth conversation. After spending some time with her, I feel that she is not only the best companion pet bot on the market, but also the most up-to-date AI pet. So Luna comes in a gray phone box with a cardboard image of her and a detailed setup tutorial on the back of the cardboard. As you can see, the packaging looks like a cyber gift box. And if we open the box, there's a user manual, an A to C cable, a charging dock, and Luna herself. Also, if you need to take Luna out, this box will keep it safe. First of all, I'd like to introduce my favorite feature, the follow. You just need to get close to Luna and she recognizes your face. There's a good chance that she will just actively follow you, which is the pet box experience that I always wanted and I'm very impressed. And of course, you can give a command to Luna through your voice, then she will follow you around all the time. And since she recognized the movement of your legs for tracking, Luna's following is quite intuitive in my experience. As long as you don't go too far, she can stay behind and keep following you at all times. Luna is powered by the quad-core Cortex A53 and dual-core BPU, which gives her a lot of computing power so she can perform complex functions such as image recognition. She can not only recognize my face, but also recognize my gestures and provide feedback. I'll briefly demonstrate a few of them here. She has different feedback for various hand movements, and as you can see, the feedback is not just the pattern on the screen, but also a variety of movements. Luna can also play games with you. There's a lot of built-in games. One of the most appealing to me is the hand slap game. Luna oh. plays game by recognizing my hand in front of her. Very interesting. In addition to the built-in games, Luna also supports interaction with other objects such as the ball and red cloth in the game kit. When interacting with Luna using the toy ball, Luna is very aggressive in retrieving the ball. This is the game I never get tired of playing. When putting the red cloth in front of Luna, Luna turns into an angry ball and charges towards the red cloth. I'm sure kids will absolutely love this game. In addition to the image recognition based interaction, Luna even has touch sensors on her head and chin. When I touch these two areas, she would come back with a very cute response. It's really a design that you can't resist. So after playing with Luna for a while, thanks to her vivid expressions and movements, I started to really appreciate her unique personality. She's very lively and has her own strange temperament while being full of curiosity. If the game's interactions are more suited for children, chat mode is for all ages. Luna has access to ChatGPT. Just say hello Luna, talkie talkie, then Luna will enter talkie chat talkie. mode. When she enters chat mode, her eyes will turn blue and at the same time, her behavior will change. She will stop where she is and talk to me quietly. And since she's connected to ChatGPT, she can answer almost any question asked. Who is Elon Musk? Elon Musk is a real life Tony Stark, known for his role in founding and leading Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, and The Boring Company. From electric cars revolutionizing the automotive industry to launching rockets into space, and even dreaming of colonizing Mars, Musk's ambitions seem limitless. His work not only focuses on advancing technology, but also on making sustainable energy more accessible and exploring the frontiers of human consciousness and habitation. I want to buy a charger for my iPhone. Which do you recommend? 
Whether you're after the fast charging capabilities of a USB-C or the classic USB-A, there's a whole orchard of options. And let's not forget about wireless charging. It's like giving your phone a little rest on a magic pillow. Need any tips on picking the perfect charger? Yes. As you can see, Luna gives very accurate and regardless answers. Of course, it's also possible to ask Luna questions directly without going into chat mode, and she will answer based on ChatGPT as well. What In addition to chatting, Luna can also I generate images based on what you tell her. Uh, of course, she can also describe what's in her site. The result is very accurate. Hmm. What is this? The image shows a person holding an Xbox controller. Good. Of course, I was curious whether Luna was based on the chat GPT 3.5 or GPT 4, and I put this question to Luna. This is how she answered it. Are you based on chat GPT 3.5 or 4.0? Regarding your question about whether I'm based on chat GPT 3.5 or 4.0, let's just say I'm like a secret recipe. The exact ingredients are a mystery, but the outcome is always delightful. Think of me as your tech savvy buddy here to chat about all things, from gadgets to the mysteries of the universe. Voice command is the most important way to communicate with Luna. She understands English, Chinese, French, Spanish, and many other languages. And a full microphone array enhances her ability to capture sound. Simply put, I can control almost everything about his pet bot with my voice. For example, Hello Luna. Come here. Hello, Luna. Sing a song. Jump up. Of course, you can express your emotion to Luna and she will respond in some very interesting ways. Luna has a 1350 million battery which lasted about one hour during the time when I've interacted with her almost every moment. Of course, Luna supports an automatic return to charging dock for charging and can be manually set to charge when the battery level falls below what it should be. When ready to charge, you can see her actively rotating and scanning her surroundings. And when she recognizes the charging dock logo, Luna reverses it like a car into her own little parking spot, which is very cute. I also tried putting the charging dock in a corner and Luna always managed to find it after spending some time. It is recommended using a 5 volt 3 amp charger, so I connected the charging dock with the charger of the recommended size and it took about 2.5 hours to fully charge the battery. Of course, if you want to charge Luna manually, using a cable connected to the Type-C port for charging is also okay. The app allows you to unlock more features of Luna such as programming and remote control. The programming feature is graphical and very simple for adults. For children, it requires a proper parental guidance to learn how to do it correctly. Luna supports remote monitoring, so even if you are not on the same Wi-Fi with her, you can still control Luna. In short, Luna can be turned into a remote camera that can be moved around freely, so you can talk to your family anywhere, which I think is a very useful feature. Luna is undoubtedly one of the most sophisticated pet bots on the market today. Not only can it be a very good companion for children, but it also can answer a lot of questions. For parents, Luna will also be a good helper. So what do you think about a pet bot? Feel free to leave your comment down below. And if you're interested in this unique pet bot, you can click the link below the video to learn more. This is Will from China. See you next time.